So the SDO3 trial was run uh, from 1976 until 1990. Um, and all patients were postmenopausal breast cancer patients, and they had a tumor size of less than 30 millimeters. Um, and they were randomized to either receive tamoxifen or no tamoxifen, but all patients were underwent surgery. We have previously um, uh, done a study where we saw that the estrogen receptor changes between primary tumor and relapse. And from that study, we were interested to understand whether intertumor heterogeneity might, might also impact patient survival. Because what we saw was that patients that um, lost their ER expression at relapse actually had worse survival. So therefore, we wanted to um, evaluate intertumor heterogeneity in a new, in a new trial. So that was the background. We found that intertumor heterogeneity impacts survival, and we see that patients with high intertumor heterogeneity have a more than twofold increased risk to die from breast cancer um, at a very long term follow up. So we follow patients up to 25 years, and we have complete follow up for the patients through national registers in Sweden, such as the Cause of Death Registry. Um, and we also saw, interestingly, that this is also true for luminal A patients. So we see that in luminal A patients, we have a similar risk increase in patients with high intertumor heterogeneity. And this is interesting because generally luminal A subtype is, is a very low risk or a low risk uh, uh, phenotype or characteristic and therefore it was quite interesting to see that patients with high intertumor heterogeneity with luminal A subtype also have a twofold increased risk to die at 25 years. But this needs to be validated in other trials so this is the first trial where we looked at it. So we are currently uh, collecting uh, the high-risk part of this trial, and that trial is called the STO2 trial. So we're collecting the, the blocks to do a also retrospective analysis of long-term follow-up for that trial. So that would be the, the next step for us. If validated, it could be another way of understanding risk in patients that generally have low risk. Um, you could have another characteristic to look at to understand whether the patient has true low risk at long-term follow-up because in the end we're interested in long-term survival for breast cancer patients. So that could be quite, that could, that could be important but it needs to be validated, of course. Intratumor heterogeneity is important. We looked at intratumor heterogeneity of the estrogen receptor at whole tumor slides, just stained as, as, as is done routinely in the clinic, and already looking at a IHC marker, the estrogen receptor, such intertumor heterogeneity impacts patient survival. So I believe it might be a proxy, of course, of other intertumor heterogeneity that we have in, in the, that, that a patient has in, 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 in her tumor. So it's a simple way of assessing intertumor heterogeneity of, of the estrogen receptor. There will, of course, be, be other ways of doing it in the future as well. Thank you.